Who was your favorite drunk, alcoholic character in a TV show, movie? Bender Bending Rodriguez. Miriam Pataki from Hey Arnold. As a kid you don't realize all the smoothies she drinks are actually alcoholic. She reminds me of my mom when growing up. She may be inattentive but deep down she does care. She's just struggling with her own demons. That subtle alcoholism hits hard. I'm a classic Homer Simpson fan. Randy M. F. Marsh. Charlie, D., Dennis, Mac and Frank. All of them. Really have to single out Caitlin Olson though. They talk about it on the podcast all the time about how great her drunk acting is. Frank Gallagher from Shameless. Archer. Doc Holliday in Tombstone. Jack Sparrow. What do you think America would be like today if 9-11 never happened? Country music would be a lot better. Oh man, going through airport security would be a breeze. What security? Arrive at the airport, go to your gate and get on the plane. America is weird with money because you would think that not having to spend trillions of dollars on the Iraq and Afghanistan wars would mean more money for infrastructure and investment into poor communities to boost their economic output and growth. But I feel like the state would just say, oh we don't have enough money for that. Until the next war begins. Before 9-11 I went to Canada countless times and never owned a passport. What is the best American band of all time? Parliament, Funkadelic. It won't get many votes, but Duke Ellington's orchestra, the musicianship, their virtuosity was unparalleled. Tom Petty and the Heartbreakers, of course. Credence Clearwater Revival. Talking Heads. Miles Davis Sextet with John Coltrane, Cannonball Adderley, Bill Evans, Paul Chambers, Jimmy Cobb. Their album was kind of blue. Grateful Dead. This question is too broad. You can't compare Grateful Dead to Miles Davis or Rage Against the Machine or Jimi Hendrix. This is Reddit. We can compare an orange to a steel-belted radial. Hint. The answer is, orange. The Beach Boys. The Allman Brothers Band. What's the worst drug ever? Fentanyl. I was addicted to that shit for six years and was homeless. The amount of shit I lost, the number of people who died. It's crazy. March 18th was my two years clean. I'm finally living a good life. Fentanyl. Don't do it. I'm a former meth and fentanyl user, OD'd around 21 times. They are both awful. The way they ruin you is by taking everything from you but in infinitesimally small increments so that you don't know you're losing everything. Then all of a sudden you are totally fucked life-wise, but at that point you are so addicted that you can't stop to worry about the state of things because you have to maintain your addiction. I have almost 90 days clean. It's not a lot but I'll take it. I want to live. If you owned an inconvenience store what would you sell there? Socks that come in packs of three. Not three pairs, just three socks. I wouldn't mind an odd number in a larger pack. It's like a backup for when you lose one. Not selling anything in particular but it would be policy for the customer with the most items to automatically be in front of the line. A broom that constantly sheds bristles and needs to be swept up after. Items that won't fit through the door. USB connectors that won't fit no matter how you rotate it. A drive through that sells only soups or foods that require two hands to eat, while being located along a highway. Phone chargers that have a loose connection from the get-go. Payment must be done in exact change, cash only. All my prices would end with 01. Oh, four.